Hey guys, this is Claudia of the Alexandrite System. So for the first time ever on this channel, this video is specifically for singlets. So come on in, take a seat, you're all welcome here. Today. So your friend has recently come out to you as a system. And I know that this is not easy news to hear. I'm not saying that it's like upsetting news to hear because it really shouldn't be but I can understand how this can be somewhat overwhelming. And I think that probably you have just an overwhelming amount of questions that you want to ask, but you're not asking them either for fear of offending this system that you know, or maybe just because you don't know where to start. My policy has always been, if you are asking questions in good faith, I'm not going to be offended. You may say something offensive, but I won't get offended by it because I know that you don't mean ill will by it and you are trying to learn. Especially for something like this where people don't have a lot of experience in it, everyone has to start somewhere. So I've compiled a little list of questions that your system friends probably wish that you would ask them. Where can I learn more about this? I think this is a great question to start out with because if you get proper resources, maybe you don't have to ask future questions. Odds are your friends know a lot of resources that they are particularly comfortable with, whether that's going to be YouTube videos, Twitters, blogs, books, movies, TV shows, though the latter two are kind of iffy. But odds are your friends have something that they feel communicates their experience to the outside world in an effective and easy way. Who's in your system? This is an important question because it signals to this system that you are interested in knowing people who aren't the host, the one that you perceive as being the person you've been talking to the most. It also gives you preparation for who else you might meet, which in the future could provide a more frictionless introduction. Who am I talking to right now? If you're talking with someone besides the host, you're giving them an opportunity to introduce themselves. It also shows that you're not just assuming the host is always out. Especially early on, it can be incredibly awkward to say, this isn't the person that you think it is, I'm someone else. Oftentimes it can feel like you're intruding with your own presence. And by asking who's out, you are inviting that person into the conversation as themselves. What should I do if you're dissociating? It can be kind of scary seeing your friend just kind of like zonked out, but it's a lot less scary when you know what to do in that situation. Some systems would like you to help them ground or try and generally snap them out of it, whereas some systems just want to be left alone and let it run its course. Some systems feel that a quiet place helps, some systems feel like a place with a lot of noise and stimulus helps. But regardless, if you know what to do, you can sincerely help them. What should I do if a kid comes out? Again, this can have a wide variety of answers that really varies from system to system and sometimes from child to child. I think a particularly relevant question is, should I treat them like a child? And I know that maybe this sounds silly, but there are some children in systems who will get really upset if you treat them like children. In our system, we have Susan, who's 13. And if you treat Susan like she's a baby, she's gonna be pissed. And I think generally, adults don't know how to talk to children properly in general. I think that every adult assumes that every child is five years younger than they actually are. For example, pop quiz, if someone is nine years old, what grade should they be in in school? The answer, at least in America, is third or fourth grade. I'm sure that some of you got that right first try, but I'm sure that a lot of you didn't, so it never hurts to ask. If someone who doesn't use the body's name is out when we're around other people, how would you like me to refer to you? Some systems are going to want you to use the body's name or the host's name around other people no matter what. Some systems may want you to call them by their system name. Some systems may have a collective name that they use. And some systems may want you to call them by whoever is out. But I think the thing that we really want you to ask is anything. And here's the part of the video where it turns into a confessional. All right, so listen, when you don't ask questions about this, it feels like you don't want to engage at all. 
and odds are that this is now a big part of your friend's life. So if you want to continue being friends with them, especially if you want to continue being close friends with them, they need you to engage. This is who they are. This is who I am. We came out to some friends about this um, last year, and they're very close friends of ours. And a lot of them didn't have anything to say about it. And it makes us feel like we have to hide it. It sucks when you bring up system stuff where you say, hey, this is Claudia who's out right now. And you get either silence or just kind of like a dismissing, okay, in response. I'll be honest when I say, I don't know what I want you to do exactly, but what you're doing isn't it. And I know that this comes from not only a place of just not knowing what to say, but the idea of because I'm going by my own name now, you don't know me, you've never met me. But the thing is, you have. I've always been there. I've laughed with you, I've cried with you, I've played fucking hundreds of hours of video games with you. I'm your friend too, and it hurts seeing your friends suddenly treat you like an alien. I guess unless you're talking to a system member who's actually an alien. But you know what I mean, right? Like, if you had been dyeing your hair blonde around me for the entire time that you'd known me, and then one day you told me, like, oh, I, I actually have brown hair, and I got all fucking weird about it, wouldn't that hurt? Wouldn't that feel like you did something wrong? This isn't an accusation. I'm not mad. I just... I just want to be your friend again. So yeah, go out there and remind your system friends that you love them. All of them. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.